there's a new function to SQL 2012 called concat, which is short for concatenate. Basically, what it does is it shows data side by side. What is meant by that? Well, notice we have Alex for the first name and Adams for the last name of the first record. The full names would be Alex Adams. We can concatenate it by doing this. Type concat and then parentheses, type the first name field and the last name field. Run that. Notice this final expression field here says Alex Adams. Now that name is kind of running together. We really want to concatenate first name and then a space and then Adams. So let's simply put another comma with a set of single quotes and a space between the single quotes. Now it says Alex Adams with a space. And we don't have any column name for this expression field, so let's put that in. Let's call it as full name. And run the query. There we go. There's the full name expression field, and it shows Alex, Space, and Adams all concatenate together on the first record. And it does it relative for all of the other employee records. SQL is notoriously good at saving and retrieving data in its original form. It also has a few formatting functions if you need them. Now, one formatting function that's been around for a while is the convert function. Why are we going to talk about convert in a section about new 2012 functions? Because there's a better option and we kind of want to do a comparison. So, let's put a comma after the field select list and type convert and then an open parentheses and say nvarchar and then a comma and then choose the field which is the higher date field. And we're going to choose the formatting style of 101 and alias that as char date. Run it. And it looks like Barry Brown is August 12, 2002 for his higher date. However, if you were in Europe, that would look a lot like December 8, 2002. Let's try a different formatting style. Let's try style 102. Okay, that puts the year, and then the month, and then the day. How about style 103? That's the European style of day, month, and year. Okay, how about style 104? Okay, that puts dots between the date parts. How about style 105? Let's try style 109. Okay, that spells out the date a little longer. Now, I don't have these memorized. I gotta look them up. Perhaps we can do a style where we pick the exact culture. Well, watch this query. Let's go select star from employee and run it. And now we're gonna pull up the format function and we're going to format the higher date. What are we going to format it as? We're going to choose the day. What does that look like? The second row is 8, 12, and 2002. What if we chose the month? Now the second row says August 12th. Okay, let's go back to day. Now, my style is in ENUS because that's the culture set on my computer. I didn't have to set that in this query, but that's a third optional parameter if I say en-us. Okay, but what if I would have done en-gb for Great Britain? Now the second record is 12-8-2002, and I have to have them separated with slashes. Let's change it up a bit more. Let me go d-e-d-e, -D -E, which is German Germany. What does that look like? We have day, month, year separated by dots instead of slashes. Let's see what it looks like for the German month. The second record says 12 August, and the fourth record says 16 Mertz. Here's my, November, January, and October with a K. Here we've simplified this query so you see just the higher date field and what happened to the higher date field as soon as we ran it through the format is using the day for ENUS. This is great for days, but what if we put a series of M's in here, four M's for month in a row? What will the expression field look like? It pulls out just the month fully spelled out. This is January, this is August, this is March, this is November, and January. What does three M's look like? It shows month abbreviations like Jan, Og, and Sep. What does 2Ms look like? Two-digit numerics like 01 is January and 08 is August, 09 is September. 
What does a single capital M look like? It's the full month spelled out with a date, like January 1st, August 12th, September 1st, March 16th, and so forth. Now here's the tricky part. What happens if this M is lowercase? Nothing big. How about if two M's are lowercase? Or three M's are lowercase? Or four M's are lowercase? Basically, the lowercase series of M's is minutes. Now, we're getting all zeros. It's really hard to tell what exactly that means because, as you notice, our higher dates don't go down to the minutes. So all the minutes are rounded to zero. To really see this example, let's use it with the get date. So type select get date. And we get dates, hours, minutes, seconds, and even fractions of seconds. So let's take this get date and let's copy it into a side-by-side -side comparison so we have two fields and let's put the format of the get date and specify that we want lowercase mm for minutes and we'll do it for the EN US culture run this we can see on June 1st, 2012, at 5.49 p.m., it says 49, because we're getting the minutes of 49 after. Format does more than dates, minutes, months, and years. Format can also localize your currency. Let's look at the grant table, which has an amount. Now, this is money. I might assume they're dollars because the country I live in uses dollars. But maybe you're in another country and you've stored this natively and you want it to appear in that format. Well, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's pull up the amount field one more time. Now we're going to leave the first amount field alone, but we're going to format the second amount field by saying format, amount, and I'm going to format it as a currency. Now we're going to specify that it is EN-US currency. Run it. And it seems to have dollars and cents. Well, let's alias this field so it's clear to see. We'll alias it as USA dollar sign. Great. Now, what if this was ENGB for Great Britain? Well, we get the pound or the quid sign. Let's change our alias to UK. There we go, there's the UK one. Now how about German? What do they use in Germany? Well, let's find out. Let's go DE-DE and run it. And there we see the Euro sign. Lab 1.1, skill check one. In the JProCo database, make a query that creates an expression field called addition on the current products table. The field should concatenate the product name and its category with a dash between the values. When you're done, your results should resemble the figure you see here. Skill check 2. In the JProCo database, make a query that creates an expression field called description on the grant table. The second field should concatenate the grant name and its amount with a dash dollar sign between the values. When you're done, your results should resemble the figure you see here. Skill check three. In the JProCo database, make a query that creates an expression field called Hire Month on the employee table. The field should format the Hire Date field as a month. When you're done, your results should resemble the figure you see here. Skill check four. In the JProCo database, make a query that creates an expression field called Eurodate on the current products table. The field should format the origination date down to the day and use the culture for Great Britain English. When you're done, your results should resemble the figure you see here.